drop shots. I am so thrilled. This week we have two special guests. First, from Canada. He's a blogger, he's a pro traveler. His name is David Ouellette from GorillaGallivanter.com. He's gonna share with us his experience in Colombia and some crazy shit happened to him. Secondly, also very important, we have Daniela Rosana from Colombia. She's in China, she's having a great time. She's actually so famous, you know? All these Latin stuff going on, you know? She's actually really pretty. Anyways, that's all for me. Thank you very much, guys, for coming to the show. Love Colombians. I will be there so soon to visit all you mofos. Thanks for watching. Give it up for us. Drop a comment. Don't forget to smile. Thank you. you this I'm David Willett from GorillaGalavento.com. I'm in Peru right now. And I'm going to talk about why Colombia is not such a dangerous place to travel in. So I was traveling in Colombia for three months. I had five altercations with police. Sometimes they were good, sometimes they were bad, depending on whether or not I was being a good or a bad boy. I was attacked by dogs twice. Um, I had one situation where taxi drivers ambushed our taxi and basically punched me in the face quite a few times. Um, but really, those were pretty minor things, and I never had to go to the hospital for anything. I never had to um, file a police report for anything. Because the only thing that was stolen from me in three months was a pocket knife, and the police took that from me. Um, so, Colombia is a really safe place to travel, and if you are careful, uh, you have to use a lot of common sense um, and actually kind of a heightened level of common sense. You can't take your phone out in public. You have to keep your wallet in your front pocket, sorry, not in your back pocket. Um, and you have to constantly be looking around and aware of your surroundings. Um, but, I mean, that kind of, that applies to every country that you travel in. Um, you always have to be careful. Colombian people are amazing. They're really friendly, they're really polite, uh, outgoing, formal, and fun. Um, and they're really hospitable. Uh, I, I definitely spent over a month uh, sleeping on people's couches in Colombia. So that should, um, that should kind of give you an indication of what the Colombian people are like and how hospitable they are. I've heard stories. A guy was uh, traveling on the bus from Colombia to Ecuador and he fell asleep on the bus uh, during the night and his backpack, which had his passport, his camera, a lot of important stuff, was at his feet and he fell asleep and someone easily took it. So again, if you use some common sense and you're careful, um, you have to do something a little safer than just keeping your backpack by your feet on an overnight bus. Uh, sometimes I'll clip it around poles or around objects that I can secure in my bag with. Um, I also sometimes put my legs through the, through the shoulder straps so that if someone wanted to take it from me, they would have to um, move my legs and probably wake me up. And you can also do things like buying little locks and buying, uh, there are these things called pack safe, like metal wire mesh that you can put your backpack in and lock it or lock it to things. And I suggest that everyone go to Colombia because it's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. The people are amazing. Um, Betty, do you think Colombia is safe to travel in? Oh yeah. Yeah, and she's Swiss and she's a girl. She's skinny, so she's vulnerable. All right, there you go. Peace. Hey! I'm back! The first thing that comes to my mind when I think of a Colombia, of course, drugs. What else? What do you think of when you think of Colombia? I mean, yeah, drugs and apparently the guys have huge penises. Not apparently, I've been with one Colombian. Yeah, and they're hot, of course. I mean, don't you want to go to Colombia? I want to go to Colombia for that. Don't you? I know you do. I know you do. So, I mean, say five fabulous speeches. Colombia, as my Colombian friends said, they're actually pretty bad. People that drugs in like the 80s and 90s. Apparently, he had like. 
Beach event 2016 won like a rubber band with like bricks of cash. I've never been in Colombia, but I wish I could go soon. Uh, mainly, mainly for two reasons. Uh, first of all, I want to visit my friends there and go around the country. And the second reason is because I really want to take some uh, vallenato lessons. Yeah, I'm just to party around, I'm all relaxed. The only thing I do know is that uh, my Colombian friends go on vacation there to the beaches. It looks absolutely amazing, so I would love to go there someday. <laughs> My name is Rosana Estrada, I'm from Colombia, Bogotá. I'm 20 years old and I came to China when I was 16 years old to study Mandarin and to study from the culture. When I was six years old, I started uh, to learn how to dance uh, different kind of dances such as salsa, tango, flamenco, belly dance, uh, Colombian folklore. And as well, I learned how to play the piano, how to sing, and these are the passions of my life. Once I left Colombia, I realized how wonderful, how rich my country is and my culture is. Things that I didn't notice before just because I was living day a day there and I grew up with those things. But being here, I really miss them and I really want to show uh, not just foreigners but as well Colombians who are in Colombia who haven't realized about this beautiful stuff. Unfortunately, people know more about the bad things of Colombia rather than the good things. That has motivated me to show and to represent Colombia, represent my culture through its music, its dances, its art, and to show how we Colombians are so energetic, charismatic, and full of life. One is Cumbia, that is the most folkloric national dance in Colombia. Uh, it's music that arrives to our hearts and always makes us dance. Hopefully, you like the dancing shows, uh, you understand a little bit of my culture, um, understand a little bit of my feeling, the Latin flavor.